toilet. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so there comes a time in every bidet aficionado's life when it's like, all right, I've dabbled. Now it's time to commit. And previously, that was like me in the BB2000, which was like a, it's a $700 bidet. I own a $700 fucking electronic bidet. Um, this is the model above that. Give me a second. Uh oh, it's a long one. All right, hold. I didn't end up watching. So, like I said, this is the model above the BB2000. There's actually one higher than this and more expensive than this, but I don't like it as much. So this is the one. So anyway, um, BB2000, $700 a day. A lot of focus, a lot of energy takes to like commit to that sort of level of ass wipery. And this on BioBidet site is $2,300. Of course, it's a toilet and the bidet, and they're the, they're the same. It's like the highest, like you go to Dubai. This is the shit that's in this shit in Dubai. Um, I didn't pay that because I got it at Costco. I didn't know they even sold it at Costco, but then someone in my patronage chat was like, hey, Zeos, is this a good deal? And I see $999.99. So apparently they had it for $1,500 at Costco, then flash sale, $500 off. So... It was, it was, I was, I couldn't not because I, I need, needed it. I'm wrapping this up, I'm having a conversation, but I want to do this, but I want to have a conversation. So that's just life. Can I put this, the, the front ones on? This should just, <sighs> so you have that switch. That's just for these lights, but through the CASA app, I slaved it through the entire kitchen. So if for whatever, whatever reason I want to come in to my home and turn on the whole kitchen, I have one, one switch, not that one, that one, that one, all that comes on. So this is the P770 um, Prodigy. And since I'm a huge fan of the Prodigy, I thought this is the perfect bidet to own, right? Prodigy's amazing. It's real sad when the lead guy died. Um, and it's going to be a complete replacement for my toilet. Like, you don't keep anything. You just rip that shit out until there's a hole in the ground and water spigot. And you install this. Um, probably on stream tomorrow. If I feel up to it, if I don't have to do other things to do. I'm still delaying doing my taxes. So if you want to know what the date is, it's sort of like still in that like, you got two weeks, sort of. You'll be fine. Range. Um, and since it was Costco, I actually prefer, I bought the last one on Amazon. I bought that like round one, which had a problem. And I went through bio bidet to fix it and they were slow as shit. So next time I would just buy another one and return the one that was broken. But Costco, I think would fucking cover you pretty goddamn good. Um, there are some complaints. This is not a perfect unit. Um, as far as like people um, going through, oh, this had to be delivered by a truck, by the way. This wasn't like UPS. This was like literally Costco's delivery service. And they were like, they called me at 7.05 a.m. yesterday and said, we'll be here in a half hour. And I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then I set an alarm on my phone for 25 minutes because God fucking knows. There's no way I'm waking up, going to bed at 2.51, getting up at 7.05 to answer my phone. And then staying awake for 30 more minutes to like answer the door and sign a piece of paper. It wasn't happening. So I laid in bed for like 22 minutes staring at the fucking stopwatch. Like, is it going to go off? Yeah. Every time I close my eyes, eight minutes went by. Water tested, quality approved. Water does it better. Ooh, this is a nice piece of cardboard. I'm going to have to keep this like separate. Um, I'm also going to end up keeping these boxes, both of them, in case something goes wrong. This is the next generation toilet system. Oh, baby. I'm on the road again. Oh, my God. This is stuck in here. Oh, I don't want to break it. This is the styrofoam that sucks. And that breaks. That is a huge toilet. Holy fuck, brah. Brah. It's like a video bubble for pasta. Yo, brah. Look at my toilet, brah. I'm pooping in there, brah. Let me take a tape measure, actually. Come with me, everyone. As we measured, I didn't measure anything. I just threw the money at Costco. This fucking thing, look at the size of it. 28 inches from the back to the lip. 
Oh, by the way, if you have a fiber optic HDMI cable, all sorts of things are possible. I, I haven't done it yet, but I set it up so I can just sit there, sit here, take a bath, and watch TV. I eventually want to put a TV here instead of this painting. The problem is that this is a door that does this, so the wall is going to be a weird two by four on end wall. But if I had a TV here, I could sit there and watch TV, or I could sit here and watch the reflection of the TV, and I could watch the TV from the shower or Project Melody or whatever the fuck's on. How deep are you? Oh, wow. It's roughly the same. Actually, this is deeper. From the, from the, from the wall to the front of this toilet. It's 29 or 30 inches. So, all right. I was, I was, maybe I'm just, I'm just not used to seeing a toilet in the middle of my fucking living room. Should I call this the living room? I want honest opinions of everybody. Because in the fucking electrical box, all the rooms are labeled, and that's the sunroom, and that's the workout room, but it's now it's the office. This is called the great room, and I kind of feel like a pompous ass calling this the great room. So what the fuck would you call this area? It's not a room even, it doesn't even have wall. It's got like three walls, maybe. So can it even be a room? Also, how the fuck am I supposed to take this out of the box? That's a chonky toilet. Look at the squareness, because this is the thing, the bidet, the bidet is designed to be super fucking comfortable, because it's literally like a square. Um, oh, she a heavy girl. I guess I could just pick her up, and kick her over and put her down. Oh, it comes with a wax ring too. That's nice of them. I guess it would, considering the price of this fucking Dubai toilet. Pasta, in fact, pasta, you could even put like top of the line Dubai toilet in the title if you really felt like it, because that'll get clicks. Okay. Oh, it's about as much as a sandwich. Oh. Whew. That's a Paul sandwich from Narberth. Very simple packaging, at least. It doesn't seem to be exploded, so that's good. There's also no other accessories, as far as I can tell. Double checking. Okay. On the road again. I got a giant toilet on the road again. Oh, there's like a little handle here. I didn't even notice it. I didn't pop this out, that's why. Son of a bitch, I want my money back. For alternate fittings, contact them. So at least I know there's a specific number. That off. So now, this is the main base, and I've seen some people complain about how hard it is to wire, to, to, to tube it in, and I have no idea how, like I've installed the toilet. If you remember my video on the Biwiday BB800, was it the 800? I legitimately was renting an apartment down in Philly, down by Philly, and I bought the oval bidet because I thought it would fit on the old toilet that was in the apartment and it didn't. And it was easier for me to buy and replace a toilet to fit the bidet than it was to change bidets. So. This is the ultimate fucking, and I didn't tell my landlords that I did that. In fact, they still don't know that I changed the toilet because I mean, you could tell them, but if you're willing to throw away 200 bucks when you leave and to have a good toilet for four years, because I stayed there for five years, nearly six years. <clears throat> okay, so poop goes in here. I'd assume there's no poop in here now. This is probably the only time you're ever going to get to touch this without it being poop. So good with that. This has got all sorts of grease on it on the inside, so I'm not going to touch that. This is weird. Here's the here's where the poop goes. It goes up and down, so if you poop like a real big log, it's not gonna make that turn. The bottom of said toilet, there's a hole, there's a tube with a fitting. It says 22 on it. Don't know why it says 22. This is all pre-mounted with metal hardware, here and here to mount the actual top. I think, Oh yeah, there's a flushy flush. This thing is awesome, 
because if you watch the videos, because pasta gonna link it, you can link it on Amazon pasta, but uh, it's also on Costco. And it's also on BioBiday's site, but Amazon has the video. When you flush, which is obviously remote controlled, it throws water around the top, like hard, so that it just it swipes all the way down. And I don't, it must connect here and here. I think there's grease in that one too. I'm not touching it. Oh, how the fuck am I gonna get to those bolts? Oh my God. I guess you have to get to them through the top and then install this. So now here's the fun part. I mean, it's all fun for a person who's a bidet owner. Cheese, where you at? I literally asked, I pinned a message in my patronage chat of who here owns a, a bidet and where do you live? And I was amazed to see how many people in America actually did. I was expecting to be nothing but European and maybe some Southeast Asian bidet owners, but nah, we had full fuck. You know, I do Virginia, I do Texas, I do California, I do Florida. And, um, wow. She said, wow. I, you know, and I think it has a lot to do with the toilet paper shortage, or the great toilet paper shortage of 2020. But at the same time, it's just like, let's get with the rest of the world. Like, the rest of the world is not as good as America because we say so. But also, like, the rest of the world has bidets and we don't. So it's time to fix that shit. Let's level the playing field. What number in education? Who cares? We all have bidets. We're all are good people. <coughs> oh my God. This is exceptionally long compared to the one. Here's the thing. When you add a bidet to a normal toilet, you're sort of taking up the space of the motor assembly and the heating element. And maybe there's a storage tank with this. So it, it kind of cuts off. There's toilet paper in there. It kind of cuts off the back of the toilet to accommodate it because the tank is here. With this toilet, there is no tank. It's a tankless fucking toilet. And everything is in the motor section. So the motor section can be way back, giving you full access to the shitter hole, as I call it. Um, I want to get this out of here without damaging it and without ruining things this feels like it's containing it contains the remote so this is a mountable remote the other one for that bio but bb 2000 is um pasta you could also link the bb 2000 in the description the bb 2000 has a handheld remote which i kind of like but this one this one tells that one to go fuck itself and it literally says anima instead of turbo Stop, posterior wash, feminine wash, enema, dry, oscillating, pulsating rhythm. There is a secret, oh my God. They don't even show this in the, vi oh God. Oh, I've been blown away. Literally, I'm gonna be blown away. Um, they don't show this door open in any of the pictures of this. So this is your first, this is my first time seeing it. Then you have full flush, small flush. The seat will go up and down automatically. It's literally got an automatic like walk up to the toilet and the seat goes up because this is the fucking future, fuck you. And that's one of the complaints is a lot of people say, ooh. Bunny girl darkness in the sun is like, I was worth the 2019 order weight. But anyway, yeah, you can uh, put up just the, just, just the lid, the lid and the seat to take a piss and close everything, and that's amazing. However, I, someone did complain you can't put just the seat down. So if you, if you lift it up to take a leak and then you want to go sit on the toilet seat, you have to put everything down and then lift the lid back up. I don't know how manual operation works. I really wish it was like a good review of this. I'm gonna be the first one. Um, oh, that's a nice little system. It just goes click, click, click. So you can just pick this up and hold it like a fucking Game Gear, because this ain't a fucking, there's nothing that otherwise <laughs> describes the size of this. We've got pressure up and down, position, um, seat temperature, water temperature, dry temperature, auto on off, auto light on off, deodorant, nozzle cleaning, power savings, and then auto flush and auto lid open, close on and off. So I'd probably end up, I'm gonna try the auto lid, but where my toilet is, it's such a small room that by the time I'm in there, I kind of want the lid to be open already. So I'll probably just leave the lid up and the seat down, and then I can just lift and close. It depends on how I'm going. Or I can just 
piss in a regular one. I kind of want to install a urinal. That's always been a dream. Tell me if you're also in the comments, if you've ever dreamed of owning a urinal, because as a guy, it's just like, I just can just go and I'm done. I have to lift things and flush. I don't know. So yeah, okay. I don't know how many, what kind of batteries this thing takes. It's about to be three double A's. Three double A's, none of that triple A bullshit. So yeah, this is, um, this is severe. This is severe. This is made in Korea. I'm assuming it's made in Korea because all the Bible days are made in Korea. Um, what a dainty looking wire. It's so dainty. You know what? I just had a thought. Can I flush my toilet if I lose power? I'm going to figure that out by unplugging this and then trying to flush the, well, there's a button. Well, the remote control will have batteries, but will this like store? Because what if I drop a deuce and the power goes out and I can't get rid of it? I'm asking the real questions here, boys and girls. Like, I don't know who else you're watching for your bidet content, but are they answering these questions? Because that's, I've had power outages and this, I'd have to get this on the generator. <laughs> Time for a generator upgrade, everyone. I need my, you know what? I don't know actual wattage this is gonna draw because I know the, the one I currently have since it has instant heating, like it never runs out of water. It's always, it's always just constant. Oh, it comes, it comes with the batteries. It's constantly, you know, heating the water as you're using it. And it uses like 1200 or 1500 watts. It's like this hair dryer to heat the water. So you never run out. But this is gonna be doing that in a much more luxury way. And um, yeah, we'll see. Wow, this is, a, this is definitely not standard. Holy shit. That is a non-standard fuck you toilet attachment. I know, cause I had a very, very long journey of getting toilet attachment things going on. And that, that is a nut. That is a nut. So where does this go? It's gotta go to the unit. The unit itself must get fed. We're gonna pop that out and look at it. I think I've got everything out of the box at this point. Put you back in here, put you back in here. There is an adapter in case you have a very small water inlet, which I might, which is nice, because in case it doesn't take this, you could put this in there. So I might need to double check that. This comes with wall mount screws for this and the three batteries. I'm, should I open this up? Because if I don't open this up, I usually use three Duracells in the basement or three, I think I got Amazon basics ones. And if there anything is wrong with this unit, I could, that doesn't fucking matter. You give me, I bought it for 20, well, actually bought it for a thousand dollars. A thousand dollar per day, holy fuck. This is kind of like, I, I kind of realized that I live in this house now. It's very strange, I know, I'm having like, like I bought the house and I'm living here, but it never kind of felt like mine until I realized I could just take any wall, smash with hammers and there's no one's gonna yell at me. Like no one's gonna yell at you for like, this is your house. You could do anything you want. Almost anything you want. You can't make meth here. So that's a, that's a, that's a sort of a negative. Uh, I'm not gonna put these batteries in this yet simply because I don't, I'm not ready. Toilet bowl. It just says toilet bowl over and over and over again. Is that real wax or is that rubber? That's real wax. Don't want to squish that too much. Is the quick start guide fully waterproof? It is. BioBidet knows their customer base. It's a literally a laminated sheet. Getting ready to install. What is my rough in? 12 inches on the wall to the center of the toilet trap. Which is another thing, my toilet bowl in there when I bought the house the toilet bowl rocked and the home inspector figured that out and he told the owner and he told me and the guy was like, ah, I can't get it fixed. How about I take $200 off the furniture you're buying? So having a rocking toilet bowl actually saved me some money. And then I just tightened the toilet bowl myself, but I've been tightening it and it's like, it still rocks a little bit. So when I get the toilet off, I'll fix the floor, level the floor and then do this. So that's actually gonna help me. Rough in A, rough in B, C, trap. Wow, there's so many numbers, Jesus Christ. That's a whole, that's a whole template. It's a template with the whole, okay. And then here's the quick guide for the thing, for the Prodigy. Ordinary temperature, 93, 99, and 104. So the coldest temperature is 99, 93. Someone did complain also that this bidet only has hot, hot, and hotter. And I'm okay with that. The hotter the water, the better. I want it to hurt. I want it scolding. I want to have to go to a fucking burn unit. Look at that. That's nice of them. I mean, I guess I'm not 
actually roughing in the fucking toilet though. I'm putting it where it is. So if this doesn't fit, I'm going to legitimately chop a hole in the wall to make my toilet fit. It should fit. The installation manual with the wax ring, conver conversion nuts, anchors, screws, batteries. It's very simple. It's a hose. A hose and a plug. That's all we got. And then here's the actual user manual. Is this all English? Oh my God, it's all... No, it's not English. Damn it. Why is this in Spanish and not in... What do they speak in Dubai? dubai -nese. Is there only two languages? We're back to English again? Important safeguards is at the very back of the book and in English. Okay, safety temperature thermal cutoffs adjustable 93 to 104. Heater capacity 250 watts. Oh, for the dryer. 600 watts for the heater, the water heater. And rated power consumption of 700 watts. That's actually less than my other fucking thing. I hope it works. Flushing system is a siphon jet with tornado flushing. Tornado flushing. It says tornado flushing. We'll read that all later. Let me take this off here and let's give the actual unit an inspection. On the bro Yes, there'll be a full review of this, obviously. Um, I will install it on stream because if something goes wrong, that's clippable. And I hope people throw money at me while I'm doing it because it's got to pay for itself somehow. I kind of wish it had a removable plug, like a, I guess I can't do that for the, for a water fixture, but like a computer plug so that I could put one of those like $55 mega audiophile cables on it. Cause that'd be fucking hilarious. It's got five LEDs. It says bio bidet, power seat sensor, power saving, seat temp, and water temp. Oh, it tells you what's going on on all of those things. You go in here. Should I just install it here? Just plumb it into it, just drill a hole and have it just right to the basement and just like I'm proud of everything that happens. Um, so that's what's happening on top. Infrared receiver probably, the lid. Here's where the sensor is, or the sensor is holding, but you can notice it's a weird shape. Oh, it's gonna be super comfy to sit on. I, I wanna, you hear me overriding the motors? <sighs> Side of the unit has manual buttons, power, posterior, feminine, and flush. I'm probably gonna to wanna to find that flush button easily. Press the posterior or feminine buttons again to stop the cleansing function. Okay, so you wanna clean my ass, stop cleaning my ass. Clean my vajuj, stop cleaning my vajuj. On the bottom of the unit, I'm trying to do this without breaking anything. So here's our main hookup to that monster, is there. Then this and this automatically seal to those two things. That's why they're greased. So you don't have to actually attach anything, it just plops in place. And then you pray that the seal is good because if it ain't, that's, that's a mildly dangerous thing. And then this, the fuck is this? This is an adjustment. Well, I, I just tightened it. So it's loose and tightened. So, okay, we'll see what that is in the manual. That might be a drain to drain the whole unit. Here's our little filter. Here's our nozzle floating around here. Uh, there's no door or anything because it's it's obviously built in to be way up. This is the blower. When you when you hit blow my ass off, that opens up and it blows hot air. This is the filter that you could put like sprigs or something in there to make it smell better if you want to put that in there. Why is that on an angle? It's a weird, a weird thing. And these are the spring-loaded clips that when you click it in place, it will unpop. How do you unpop this actually? It should be the other side. Let's check the other side. Oh, 1.6 gallons per flush. 1.6 gallons per flush or one gallon per flush. I hope it's 1.6. I like when my poop goes away. I don't like it sticking around for like ever. Oh, there you go. All right, clean the toilet when power is out. Boom. I have no idea what these buttons do, but you literally have to unlock a thing to access some manual buttons. There's another infrared receiver, and here's the cord, and I think that's it. I don't think these affect this, unless they do, unless these are locks. 
I'm kind of afraid to like put this on that for this unboxing because it may not come off. So I won't, because I don't know. I don't want to also get this touching that and then take it on and off. I don't want to do that. Although, how does it slide? Oh, it pops down. Usually a bidet, you mount the thing onto the seat and then you slide it in, it goes click. But it can't with this because of the hoses that are coming straight down. Okay, so that means that this literally goes, this, oh, these are the releases. Do you have access to them from inside the toilet, inside the hole? Because it here and here slide back. So when I'm installing it, it'll be put it down and go click. So it's a down click. Okay, everyone, I think we've, um, I'll figure out what these do in the, um, um, for the review. <sighs> God. Oh, here you go. Bowl cleaning. Bowl cleaning and flush. Secondary main body controls. Oh! Press the bowl cleaning button for three seconds. Press the flush button for five seconds. That's how it deals with it having a power outage. Because you can't have it automatically do it with the remote. You pop this motherfucker open. Clean the toilet when power is out. That doesn't mean like clean the toilet and you know, unplug it before you clean it. That means when the power is out, emergency flush, bowl cleaning and flush. So there you go. I can, I can, I can flush without the battery. Thank you, Korea. Thank you, Korea. All right, I'm done with this. See you guys tomorrow. There we go. Don't delay. Don't talk about bidets. Let's talk about fucking these cables. So. Um, for those of you who are unaware, which is most of you, there we go, I got one. Um, Aperion Audio, pasta, this is AperionAudio.com. Aperion, like a peer lion or a per ion, a per ion, ion. Um, sent me a couple things. They sent me outdoor speakers and they sent me these. I have the other one in the bedroom. Uh, these are super tweeters and they are specifically designed to be added on to normal speakers, which feels like a 1970s or 80s, like get rich quick scheme. Like just add these tweeters, bro. I mean, my friend has a set of, um, like Radio Shack. What was Radio Shack's house brand? I forget. I, 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 Radio Shack has a house brand and they would sell super tweeters you put on top and you wired them in and then you, they made you screamed like highs at you. So these are a thousand dollar set of modern versions of that, all metal, um, with different adjustability things for how you want to like set it up. However, to hook up banana plugs to this and then get it to share the signal with an amplifier off another speaker is a pain in the ass. So Aperion makes their own cables for this and this is a four foot length, and they're all crazy solid silver, like $75 a set. But I'd have to build these because this makes my life way easier. All right, first off, I wanted to say, fuck yes, these are nice. Move the knife away from these. But they do come individually, they're not shares. These are four footers. I'd like five. They said they're going to make five or six footers, which will be better. Wow, these are stupid. Stiff. That is a stiff fucking cable. I think it's silver wrapped copper. Don't quote me on that. Check the website. But the beauty of these is as follows. Now I have banana plugs on one side, so I can just plug these in a nice and nice like this. And the other side, instead of banana plugs like everything else or raw wire, you get spade connectors. So. If your speaker has five-way binding posts, you just have to unscrew it, which doesn't affect the banana plugs that are going into it from your amplifier. And then you just go go do do and tighten it on and do go go do and tighten it on. So you'll have that at the back of your speaker and then these will get fed. So I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna hook these up till um, you send me those wires because the nightmare it would be to actually like strip raw wire and put it in to like the ohms and then put the banana plug because the banana plugs if you look through the hole banana plugs will usually extend into the hole so that means you put the wire down and then you put a banana plug back in and it would hit the wire and it's, it's bad news bears so spades the only way to do it and i don't have any spade connectors and i have spade wires so i'm like yes please send me these please please appear in you may we may as well go full hog with like 
I'm, at least they're only $75 for these cables and they are pretty fucking custom for this particular application. So I'm not gonna get too angry at expensive cables, expensive cables, like, especially if they look decent. These are fucking nice. Stiff, but nice. That's what she said.